up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Welcome to another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where I'm all about showing the world that crochet is killer. So today we are going to chit chat a little bit about some amazing gift ideas for that crocheter in your life or maybe just for yourself as well. This time of year it always happens. There's a ton of things that hit the market that claim to be like super perfect for a crocheter or super practical, super aesthetically pleasing, just floods the market. It can definitely be something that ends up being really time consuming or you just get like a little bit discouraged because there are so many things to look at and so many places to start you have no idea where to start so I went ahead and did the work for you and found 10 absolutely killer items to give to any crocheter the first thing that most people think of when gifting to a crocheter is yarn a hundred percent because I love to work with yarn I love to display it I love to collect it I mean, like everything yarn absolutely but it can be one of those things that's a little bit difficult to gift away because everybody loves a specific type of yarn, color, weight, texture, everything like that. And there are so many different things to pick from. So all 10 of the items that I have here to show to you today are not going to include yarn. Now that's not saying that yarn is not an amazing gift because like I said already, yarn is fantastic. I love it and I will always take yarn and I'm sure any crocheter would as well. These are just 10 alternatives to gifting away yarn. So if you're excited to get into this list here, definitely go ahead and grab yourself a cup of caffeine. Come on back and let's work our way through all 10. Starting out with gift idea number one, we have a knitting pillow. I travel with this thing. So it came in this travel bag and when I first got it, I was like, that's odd. Why would I need a travel case for a knitting pillow? Just kidding. I travel with it everywhere now. Just like that. It goes right around your back and it adds an extra layer of comfort because let's be honest, when we're sitting and crocheting for a very, very long time, things are going to get sore. Your muscles are going to get tight. Your body's going to get sore. That's just the nature of crocheting for a very, very long time. So anything that can add to a little bit of comfort is totally worth it in my book. Also works really, really well in cars. This thing just fits right in most seats anyways. It comes in a couple different sizes. The one that I have here is a large. Also, you can definitely go ahead and use it like on the side like this if you need to like prop up your elbow too because I know that if my elbow isn't propped up, it can definitely get a little bit sore. So like as you're moving and shifting, this pillow can just be like moved around any which way since it's just like so flexible and everything. It really is a fantastic pillow to have. Moving on to option number two, we have washing bags here. If you know that the crocheter in your life loves to use things that need to be put into a washing bag that are like really delicate, like mohair or opaca, something like that, or even wool, and they often make wearables, this is an amazing thing to gift because I use these constantly, especially for like my mittens that I use quite often and they get dirty quite often. They go in here and have to be washed. These are super, super nice to have around. There are many different options of these bags. Some of them have zippers, some of them don't, so it really just depends on what you want. I have both variations of them, and I don't like one over the other. This one just happens to be 100% cotton, and it is a large bag, I think. Yes, 35 by 50 centimeters. So you can go ahead and throw like a couple of hats, a couple of beanies, throw it into the wash, and you're good to go. Gift idea number three, we have a tool. So, Lisette Forks. These are a super fun Viking way of making braided eye Cord. I rather enjoy doing these at the end of the night as like a meditative process. So this one happens to be a 3D printed set fork and it's rather large and the opening is large as well. So you can use up to like a bulky style type of yarn, really thick type of garland if you're wanting to do that. Then this one is more of the classic set fork with an ergonomic handle so you don't get pain in your hand from the repetitive motion. And then it has the traditional opening here that goes up to about a worsted weight yarn. So really it's just depends on the style of the crocheter, but there are so many options out there. Idea number four is Notion bags filled with goodies. So every crocheter loves bags, especially Notion bags, because you can go ahead and put all the essentials in here whenever you're traveling. Or like me, I like to have a Notion bag with every project. So I know I have the hook size, the stitch marker, everything that I need for that project is found in one place and together with my project. So go ahead and find 
find a cute notion bag that goes to the aesthetic of the crocheter and fill it with things like traveling scissors, which these are absolutely my favorite because they cover it up right there. So when you're done working with it, it closes up on that sharp edge so you don't poke yourself when you're reaching in to grab it. Retractable tape measures, always good to have. Throw in some stitch markers to go with their style. We have like Jack the Skeleton right there. I'm totally in love with that. And I found Sally as well. There we go. Just throw that one in there too. And a pen. It doesn't seem like a lot. And this one obviously is just plain, but you could do something that's like a fancy one or something that once again is like their favorite movie on the outside of it. But honestly, just a basic pen in here so you can write on the pattern that you're working on. It means a lot in a notion bag. Spinning right off of that, gift idea number five is tote bags. They are so useful and I never have enough of them. I don't know any crocheter that would say no to a tote bag. This is also another area where you can go ahead and really put their personality into it. Etsy is an absolutely fantastic place to go ahead and search for tote bags. Anything and everything that you want, you can find on a tote on Etsy or customize it. Gift idea number six is a neck light. So even if you're not traveling, if you're just chilling in your yarn dungeon here, working on your pattern, these are so nice to have. The thing that's really cool about this one though, is it basically already comes in a gift box because because that just pops right open. And now you have a place that you can also go ahead and put it back into when you're done using it. So just go ahead and like unwrap it here and it goes right around your neck. And then that way you can angle it. Either maybe you need to look at your pattern or you're working with black yarn or something like that and really low lighting. This is super nice to have. And there are two different levels. So there's 100% and then there's 50% that it'll go on. I won't do that and blind you here, but it's also really, really durable. So when you bend it and like stick it, it stays in that spot as well. Idea number seven is crochet books. So I have went ahead and picked some of my all-time favorite books that either I use constantly or they just have amazing patterns. First up, we have the Crochet Answer Book. This one is just handy for everyone across the board of crocheters to have because not only does it have a lot of good information in it, it's travel size. So you can take it with you, you can throw it in your tote bag along with your pattern to have with you everywhere you go. Next we have Get Started Crochet. So this one is fantastic in that it goes through step by step of how to do things like slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet, magic circle. It tells you step by step and then it has pictures going along with those steps as well. So yes, it is definitely geared more towards beginners, but in the back there is things like patterns, granny squares, different ribbing styles. It once again is kind of a nice reference book just to have on hand. Next up we have a modern guide to texture crochet and this book is just fun. Like honestly, that's all I can say about it because look at the texture right there and then on the back we have the ice cream stitch that pretty much sums up everything that you're gonna find in this book just fun stitches this next one is called making with a meaning and it's a meditative type of crochet so right off the bat you can see like beautiful big chunky type of blanket absolutely but they're designed to be that way because it's a meditative type of process a end of the day type of refresh your brain or beginning of the day get ready get yourself in the right mindset these patterns are just super beautiful for that. Next we have Modern Tapestry Crochet, and this is actually a really good beginner book into the tapestry crochet world. The patterns are absolutely gorgeous too, and they do a really good job of actually explaining the entire process, uh, taking pictures for everything in here, explaining blocking, like there's a ton that goes into this book. Okay, so that was a lot for the books there, but like I said, all amazing, all fantastic options for any crocheter. Moving on to number eight of the gift ideas here. We have blocking mats. Okay, so this is something that gets overlooked constantly as a gift, but I really feel like it shouldn't. And like, hear me out on this because in this pack that I just purchased, and it's down below, there are nine pieces in here. So it's rather large when you click it all together, but if you're making something like a huge wrap or a huge shawl or something, you need a lot of these to put together in order to go ahead and block that whole thing out. So it's always handy to have more than you need of blocking pads. This one is nice because it comes with a little like carrying case or storing case really because when I'm done with them it's nice to put it back in there, zip it back up and kind of forget about it until I need it the next time. But they're just these little squishy 
foam blocks here. They click right together in front of my face there. <laughs> click right together and then you just go ahead and use the pins to block out whatever type of project that you're working with. Not really much more I can say about that than it's a super practical type of gift to give. You can always use more. Number nine on the list is Furl's crochet hooks. There are so many different styles and colors. I have it linked all down below. You can go ahead and look through them but not only are they absolutely beautiful but they encourage healthy hands because they have this nice ergonomic handle base. You could go with like zodiac sign. So this one is Virgo. This one is Aries. You could correlate that to the crocheter that you're gifting off. That would be super fun. Then we have the Odyssey, which has a little bit more weight to it and it's a nickel plated. Once again, there's a ton of different colors for the handle. They also have Tunisian hooks, which are super beautiful, lightweight, and they have that gorgeous piece on the back here. If you're looking for something super fun and bright we have the candy shop which come in all different colors here and basically correlate and look exactly like a piece of candy and have a beautiful handle once again the box in and of itself just like screams candy in your face. For the coffee lovers, we have this one, which looks like a beautiful shade of coffee with a little bit of cream swirled at the top there. Then there are specialty ones as well. So like this is called the Alpha Series. Honestly, all you'd have to do is put a bow on top of it and you're good to go. This one is split wood and then it has resin poured in the center there and makes a really, really pretty design. Then we have the Pride Hook and the Pisces Hooks. This is by no means shape or form an inclusive of all of the lines that they have. These are honestly just some of them that I picked out here that I personally like to have on display in my yarn dungeon 24 seven. But like I said, you can go ahead and check out all of the lines down below. And then number 10 on the list here is a yarn stand. So here is a close up of what this yarn stand looks like. So in the bottom here, we have a little compartment for notions like scissors, tape measures, your hook, whatever you need. In the back, there is this little peg that you can put yarn on deck for the pattern. Then the working yarn goes on either side here and you just go ahead and pull the yarn like this as you're working. That way the ball of yarn doesn't like fly all over the place as you're using it. You can just pull it right off of this. It just works super perfect and you don't have to worry about any sort of tangling. And then in the middle here, you can lower it and raise it. That way you can place it wherever you want, wherever you're crocheting. So it's at a nice and comfortable angle for you to crochet from. So there are the 10 killer gift ideas for crocheters. I hope that at least you got a little bit of inspiration going or better yet, something like totally screamed out to you and you're like, yes, this is absolutely perfect. Like I said, everything is linked down below so you can just scroll on down and click it and go right to it. But that is all for me today. So thank you so much for hanging out here in the Yarn Dungeon. Have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.